one of the most beautiful rivers in the country, in my opinion. There's all different types of wildlife up and down the river, and it's in some areas, up more than others, it's very, very quiet, very, very peaceful. Bob Angelo loves the Cumberland River for its beauty and the secrets it holds. This fishery is world class. It's arguably one of the best striper fisheries in the world, freshwater. We know the stripers are here, but finding where they're hiding is a challenge, especially on a day where there's no current. So striper fishermen really like current. It positions the fish. In the river, it makes them easier to find. And there's so much water between here and there, wherever here and there is. They can be over there against the bank. They can be out here. There's no real structure. It's just a tube. I don't know who invented these things. I'm glad they did, though. Bob's also counting on planer boards baited with gizzard shad to get us closer to the bank. If you get these planer boards in a vicinity where they are, they'll see them, they'll find them. They'll find you. I've seen them shark come out of there like on a float line, come out with their back half out of the water 20 miles an hour from that tree to that float and cream that bait. Oh, fish That's on. a fish. Get them, buddy. A fish on. All right. Stop them. Get them up. Keep them off the trees. Good, I like him heading away from the bank. Fish number one is on the line. Yeah, he's he's playing the game well now. He's in the middle of the river. That's where we want him. I'm gonna say eight pounds. Eight pounds? All right. Yeah, bigger than eight. Get away from the motor. Yeah. Good job, Captain. F nice fish. job. 11 pounds. Good looking fish. He's looking down at his lower jaw. He'll be ready to swim away when we let him go. Good job, guys. Gotta have a little evidence. Oh, we got two cameras, double evidence. Today we're fishing near Carthage, but Bob's been catching big stripers all over the river. Anything out less than, I would say, up here, 15 pounds, 12 pounds, that fish would be considered a small fish which means my second fish is not one for the trophy wall. You may have caught the smallest striper that this boat has ever seen. <laughs> oh, no. I'm, I'm talented enough to do stuff like that. No matter how big they are, it's always fun to catch striper because they fight so hard. This year, I'm seeing more various different sizes of fish, from big fish to small fish, which is really encouraging because we're seeing all different year classes of fish, and it also lets me think that go. the water quality is pretty consistent throughout the lake. Striper. Striper fishing is a lot like hunting in that the fish don't have an address. They're never really in the same place twice. And so as you move up and down the river, these fish are, are hiding in the brush, hiding in the bushes along the river, similar to rabbit hunting. You kick every bush as you're going down the river. So you never know where you're gonna find a fish. They can be in any of these deadfalls along the edge of the edge of the bank. Fish, fish, I'll be darned. Stripers are a saltwater fish that breed in freshwater streams. There we go. This is a little bigger than my last one. While they thrive in our lakes and rivers, they have difficulty breeding here, primarily because of the dams. That means Tennessee stripers are stocked. Good job, Captain. There we go, 18 pound striper. Not bad for a last chance hole. Thank you, boys. Old Mr. Lionside. <laughs> Good job, Bob. Thanks. If I keep him now, this fish will never get bigger. So this striper's going back in the water. No wonder people like coming and fishing for these. They pull like a freight train. Excellent fight. Got that big, powerful tail. Look at all these muscles. And believe me, folks, hauling them in will take some muscle on your part. Now that's my kind of workout. And it's going straight down. I'm Chris Nishin on the wild side. Good job, Captain. Nice job. <laughs>